For this video, we are going to talk about Excel error messages. And basically, when you are typing out functions, you will notice that you will come across certain error messages. Please know this very well for your tests and your exams. We do love to ask you questions on these. So the first type of error message you could get is one that says value, and it looks exactly like this. So what does it mean? Normally, the quickest way to pick up what an error is, is when you click on the error itself, look inside the function or formula bar. You'll notice it's saying over here, A2 plus A3 plus 20. Now we notice that A2 and A4 have numeric values in them. A3 has a text value. Because Excel doesn't recognize this character over here or this set of characters, it gives a value message, as this does not make numerical sense. Okay? Remember, this happens when you use formulas. That is your addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. You wouldn't get a value message if you went equal to sum and you chose this range of information, which is A1 to A4. Why? Because in a function, it sort of ignores your text. However, if I did what I did earlier with equal to A2 plus A3 plus A4, it's going to give me a miss, an error. Div zeros try quite simple. I try to divide by zero because Excel follows maths. It is unacceptable and you get this div zero message. Name, as you can see, if you take a look in your formula bar, your name issue comes in if your function's name is wrong. So it says equal to sum, not equal to sum. So you got the name message, which means Excel does not recognize the name of that particular function. The next message you get is your set of hashtags. This is pretty common. And what it means is that the column is too small for the value to fit in. So to, in order to basically overcome this message over here, you go to the line between J and K. When your mouse pointer becomes an arrow pointing in two directions, hold down your left mouse button and you drag. So it basically means the number in the cell was too big to be displayed in your cell. Hence, you've got your series of hashtags. Your referencing error comes in when you have a formula or a function, and it's either copied or pasted somewhere else, or you delete certain cells that the function or formula would need. So you've got 300 over here, and you got this by adding L1 plus M1. If I delete M1, I get a reference error. Why? Because M1 does not exist anymore. So I get my reference error. So I hope that made error messages a little bit clearer for you. I do want to discuss one more thing, though, in terms of functions. So I normally use ranges when I look at my functions. If I click inside here and I used a comma, and I went comma 25, what this is saying is if I find a value over here, minimum means lowest value. If I find a value lower than 25 in C5 to C11, it's going to show the value that's lower than 25. However, if in this range there is no value that is lower than 25, it will then show 25. So as we can see over here, there is no value lower than 25. Our lowest value is actually 30. So it's not going to show me 30, it's going to show me 25. So just bear in mind, that is what your comma means in all your functions. Okay, so I do hope that has helped.
the best thing to do in terms of Excel is to practice it as much as you can. So go through your practicals. They are all up. And if you have any questions or queries, you can come and see me at any time. Thank you.